How's it going boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Um, first and foremost, if you like the videos, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the like button. It is free and it helps me a ton, especially if you like the videos because it gets more videos out there to more people. And uh, the bigger this channel gets, the more of these videos I can make. So win-win for everybody. Um, I don't know why I say um so much, but um, supposed to have a charter today. The visibility is absolutely terrible. It was a Wahoo trip. I uh, just wasn't really feeling it. So I gave them the option to cancel and they did. And the weather's decent, it's just the visibility's bad. But um, me and Tipsy are out here. A good friend of mine needs some snappers. So I went and caught bait this morning. It took me about three hours, way longer than I normally, uh, normally it takes to catch bait, but sometimes that's how it goes, it's fishing. I don't have a ton, can't really see them in there. I'll pull some out, just using pilchards, what we normally use. And uh, targeting snappers, um, specifically lane snappers in the winter time for whatever reason, these things show up uh, a lot of the inshore spots and in the Gulf, we catch more off more in the winter time than I do in the summer. I don't have any scientific evidence to, to prove that or to explain that, but I know that's what, the way it is. So we're gonna try and get on some lane snappers today and whatever other snappers are willing to bite. Um, pulling up to the first spot uh, in just a second. So I will show you what my bottom machine looks like and what we are fishing. Let's rock and roll. All right, so this is my first spot. It's not much. You can see sand on the outside, about 20 feet or so, and it's just a real gradual uh, hump. But for whatever reason, it just holds life. Not a secret spot. Um, I'm definitely not trophy hunting today. You can see I'm right off Key West, not far, just a few miles. But for whatever reason, this area holds a lot of snappers. Just pretty much it's hard bottom and fans. There's not really any rocks there or anything, but you can see I literally just pulled up and there's already a decent amount of life under the boat. So I'm gonna get the anchor set and show you what rig I'm fishing with and hopefully we can make some rods bend. Gypsy, are you ready? Let's catch some fish. Where are they at? All right, so this is my rig. Essentially, it's a single hook chicken rig. Um, the boys around here call it a dumb dumb rig. Uh, 30 pound fluorocarbon. I'm just using a small, pretty small lead and hook, depending on what species you are targeting. I'm not really trophy hunting today. Like I said, pretty much just trying to get some snappers. So just a little tip. Um, I like to do this. You can see this spot is actually on the GPS. Um, but these yellow marks, I use these a lot on the reef, uh, on rock piles. I drive back and forth and I mark the edges to, so from where it goes from rock or hard bottom to sand, those are my edges. So I know that's the shape of it and I want to kind of uh, be near the edge. Depending on the spot, this one I want to be near the edge. You can see that's the edge, that's the edge. So it's almost like a triangle shape, a uh, little piece of hard bottom there. Going through the lip. Essentially, I'm sitting this on the bottom, or pretty darn close to it. Oh! Woo! First bait down. Feels like a snapper. Not acting like a grouper. Woo! Tipsy! Oh! Was a grouper. Well, that's not what I want. You're out of season, buddy. 
Nice gag, look at that. Tizzy, get down. Watch out. Not a snapper, but beautiful fish. Woo! Down he goes. Hey! <laughs> you are crazy, girl. You are crazy, girl. Well, it's not a lane snapper, but I will most certainly take it. There we go. Nice snapper. That's what we need. We need snappers. Because I said I was fishing for lanes, I'm going to catch mangroves all day, but I like mangrove better anyway, so. That feels like a good snapper. Hey! So that's what I was looking for. Tipsy, don't ruin this. That is a lane snapper. Of course, I told you I was fishing for him and the first two snappers I caught was not a lane snapper. But that is a lane snapper. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know how well you can see it. Hey! Not as, in my opinion, uh, they're better than yellowtail, but um, not as good as mangrove, but they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that thing. It's beautiful. There we go, that's a good snapper. Very nice lane snapper. That's what we've been looking for, Tipsy. Very nice lane snapper. That is what we have been looking for. Beautiful lane. Nice size one too for this shallow. They don't get very they don't get nearly as big as the other snappers. What do you think? Ah! You know, I said I wasn't going to do it because I don't have a lot of bait, but I have a little more than I thought, and these fish are fired up. So I'm going to put a second hook on here, and I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, this is how I did the first one, but I've got enough leader left that I'm just going to add another one up here. Just make a loop like that. Twist those right over themselves. I don't know how many times, I always just guess. And I pull that loop back through. Grab a hold of it. And the bigger loop that you start with, the longer your little leg will be, or arm, or whatever you want to call it. And there you go. Sometimes if there's not a lot of bites going on, I'll take that weight and smack it on the bottom a couple times. Like I've said before, action brings action. Hold on, Tipsy. Oh, here we go. Eh, little guy. Oh, no, not at all. Nice one. All right, so I wasn't full of it. The lanes are here. Beautiful. These only have to be eight inches, I think if I remember correctly, but I normally don't keep them under 12. That's a very nice lane snapper. Plenty of meat on there. Nice lane. Now the lanes are biting. Now they're biting. Another beautiful lane. 
So I don't want to overfish this spot. Obviously, there's a healthy amount of fish here, but I've got enough off this spot. I'm going to uh, move to the next. We've got plenty of snapper already. All right, so I'm going to move to a next, the, the next spot. Uh, pulled plenty off this. Um, quite honestly, I could probably keep fishing and keep catching more, but the way you keep spots healthy is only take what you need. I think it, we pulled five nice snappers. Three big lanes and um, mangrove and a yellowtail, I believe. Maybe two mangroves? I can't remember. Anyways, uh, plenty of fish off this spot, so I'm gonna move to the next. Unfortunately, I'm running out of daylight here, so the next spot is uh, kind of a super secret spot. Close to Key West, it's very recognizable on film, so I'm not gonna film there, but I'm gonna check in with you after and let you know what I pulled off of it. Uh, I just need a few more mangroves, so i um, gonna give that a shot and I'll let you know how it goes. Relax. All right, well, secret spot delivered. Uh, caught about seven fish, uh, five were keepers, kept four. That's plenty. Um, we're gonna head back. Let's rack and roll. That is a wrap, boys and girls. Uh, quick snapper limit. I kind of wanted to mainly focus on lanes, but you know how fishing is. They uh, they don't always cooperate. But hopefully you learn something. It's one of those fish in the wintertime, like I said, they pick up, we catch a ton of them. Don't overlook them. I think they're better than yellowtails. Not as good as uh, mangrove, but that's just my opinion. We've all got opinions, and uh, sometimes I tend to share mine. But um, if you enjoy the videos, make sure you guys hit like and subscribe. Shared some new information in this one. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, I'm trying to fill all the requests that you guys have. So doing my best and, uh, you know, keep watching and keep sharing the love. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to keep filming as much as I can. Thanks so much. And I will see you guys later. See ya.